We have built a nano net to catch one of the most elusive particles in physics, the Majorana particle. Majorana fermions can be used for making quantum bits or qubits, the basic building block of a quantum computer, which can solve specific calculations very quickly. The Majorana was predicted to exist in 1937 by the Italian theoretical physicist Ettore Majorana. There is no Majorana among the elementary particles like electrons and quarks, but in 2010 it was predicted that they could be created as quasi-particles. A quasi-particle is a collective phenomenon that behaves like a particle, a bit like a wave on the water. The water itself stays in the same place, but the wave can travel, bounce and reflect as if it were a particle. How do you create Majorana quasi-particles? Start out with ultra-thin nanowires made out of indium antimonide, a semiconductor. Then have the nanowires border on a superconductor, a material that has zero electrical resistance. Add a magnetic field. Now the neighboring indium antimonide turns into a so-called topological superconductor. When all conditions are tuned carefully, a Majorana quasi-particle can form at the edges of this region. In 2012, a research team, including researchers at Eindhoven and Delft University of Technology, published the first detection of a Majorana in this way. Nanowires can be grown under a tiny gold drop on an indium phosphide crystal. We used a crystal with carefully crafted trenches so that the nanowires will cross each other. On the indium phosphide stalks, we grew thicker indium antimonide nanowires. Then, we gently sprayed the resulting hashtag shapes with aluminium, a superconductor. Spraying the front wire casts a shadow on the back one, so the coating ends right at the crossings. This is where the Majorana can appear, so each hashtag shape can produce four Majoranas. That comes in handy for the quantum computing bit. The big selling point of Majorana particles for quantum computers is that when you exchange two Majorana particles and exchange them again, you will not be back where you started. Quantum mechanics tells us that the double exchange is encoded in the two Majorana particles. It's a bit like the way that two loose ends of string, when doubly exchanged, are braided. Indeed, doubly exchanged Majoranas are said to be braided. This quantum braiding is predicted to be very stable, as it is not easy to undo a braid without cutting. This is a major advantage. Instability, or decoherence, is a major problem for most other qubit candidates that are being researched. We have produced networks of hashtags, and we have shown that these are clean enough for a readout of two Majoranas by applying a small current. Sending such a small current is also how you would braid the Majoranas to operate your quantum computer. The Majoranas are not physically exchanged, but the effect of these currents is the same. Now the next step is indeed creating and measuring Majoranas in our hashtags networks. This will turn them into major qubit candidates for real quantum computers.